I want to clarify the difference between peace and comfortable. Peace does not mean that you will not be stretched. Peace does not mean that you're not going to get a diagnosis. Peace does not mean that you're not going to have tribulations that come into your life. Peace does not mean that everything's going to be hunky dory all the time. But peace does mean that he will give you the ability to endure through any circumstance without losing faith by keeping your eyes focused on things above, not on the earthly things that have been happening around you. We are in unprecedented times right now. There is no question that where we are at, we are seeing things take place that have been prayed over for decades. We're seeing monumental breakthroughs. We're also seeing catastrophic shifts that are disrupting people's normal right now. There are people who are in fear of the future. There are people right now who are panicking. They're, 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 they're locking down. They're saying, oh my goodness, I just don't know where we're going to be in five years. So, you know, I can't, I can't invest my money. I can't move. I, I, I don't want to take any risks right now. Those are the people that will get overwhelmed by the wave. Over the course of the last two weeks, I have been studying surfing. As I was studying, I began to recognize there's really three positions of the wave and one position creates the greatest amount of momentum. One of them is really the safe zone. It's uh, where you're not going to have a whole lot of power, but it is also what seems like the safe zone. If it becomes a rip curl or a very, very large wave, it is actually the danger zone because you're moving too slow for what's about to happen. What you want to do in your life and business is you want to be able to ride in the zone of momentum. And it means that you're going to have ups and downs inside of this wave that we see going on around us in the world. So how do you be in a crazy world and use that force for yourself and your own momentum for what it is that God's called you to do? You don't run away from the wave. Oh my goodness, it's so big. It's the big bad wolf. It's ugly. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Guess what? Those are the people that get succumbed by the wave. They go under to the wave and then they get stuck because they have the memory of what happened in that wave because no one ever took time to teach them how to ride the wave, how to surf the wave, how to take whatever it is that God's bringing on the planet and don't be the one that buckles down the hatches and hides. Be the one that forges the hill. Be the one that surfs the way. In order to surf like that, you have to be laser focused. You have to be able to find your line. You know, every surfer, when they go out and they surf a wave, based upon their knowledge, their experience, their surf modalities, they will pick a line on the wave, just like a mountain climber or a rock climber will pick. And it'll be different maybe than the next guy. Why? Because you know your stretch, you know your lean, you know your ability uh, to ride the weight, you know your ability to reach for the next rock, and your ability is going to be different than the next person. And so my line might be that I'm going to go this way, then this way, then this way, then I'm going to lean this way, and I'm going to climb the rock this way. Whereas your line, because you might have better upper body strength, you see a line and you go, no, I can pull that. I can pull that move right there. And so you go this way. That's called find your line. Today, you're picking your line. You're picking how you're going to surf this way that has already started. You look at it and say, ah, there's about to be the biggest transference of wealth that has ever hit our planet. So what does that mean for you and your business? You've got to start looking and saying, how do I position my business? How do I position my family? How do I position my skill set, my intellect, so that I can be a part of the transference of wealth that's about to take place? And today, I want you to pick your line. I want you to surf the wave. How are you going to thrive and not just survive?